Greetings zombie fans and welcome to another video about the game 30 Seconds to Live. In this video, we are going to be demonstrating the setup for the solo player version. Please note that the two player setup is different and is covered in a separate video. Please note that the alley cards, the supply deck, zombie deck, tactics deck, and attack decks need to be placed as shown in the video. But all other components can be placed as you like based on your personal preference and the size of your setup area. Please be familiar with both the Survivor and Zombie rulebooks before attempting to play solo. To begin setup, open the box, then take both rulebooks and the dice chart and set them nearby. The solo game is not played with the timer, so it stays in the box. The Zombie Tactics deck is also not used, so leave that in the box as well. Take the two dice and set them off to the side. Place the 11 alley cards as shown. Shuffle all the decks, and then place the Survivor Tactics deck, Supply deck, the Survivor Attack deck, the Zombie deck, and the Zombie Attack deck as shown. Choose a survivor character and take their card, the standee, and the base. Place the other character cards and standees back in the box. Place the survivor card as shown with the highest number in the upper left corner. Place ability tokens on the card in the amount shown in the upper right corner as well as in specified rows. Place any remaining ability tokens back in the box. If a unique weapon is specified, find it in the supply deck and place it in a weapon slot. Remove the ice axe and katana from the supply deck if they are not being used in the previous step and put them back in the box. Put the standee in the stand and place it in row 1. Place the four white energy tokens as shown. Place one green energy token next to the four white energy tokens. Then put the remaining three green energy tokens back in the box as they are not used. If you are playing with the advanced concussion rules, take the concussion tokens and place them within reach. Otherwise, put them back in the box. Place the eight zombie knockdown tokens within reach. Place four of the time tokens on row one and place the other four within reach. Shuffle the supply deck and place six supply cards face down as shown. Draw two supply cards to form your hand. If you do not draw at least one firearm, you may once choose to discard one or both cards and replace them. Remove the card Lost Opportunity from the Survivor Tactics deck and place it back in the box. Shuffle the Survivor Tactics deck and draw two tactics cards and add them to your hand. Draw three zombie cards and place them face down in row one on the zombie side of the alley. Draw four zombie cards and place them face up in rows 6 and 8. Select either the fast attack or swarm zombies as your opponent and select that deck of cards. Then place it in front of you along with the corresponding dice chart. Put the other deck back in the box. Take the two rules cards and the final instructions cards and place them within reach face up. Make sure that the cards are in numerical order beginning with step 1. Make sure you have both player aids within reach. You are now ready to play the game as the survivor. For instructions on how to play the game solo, that will be covered in a separate video. Thank you for watching, and good luck.